Hello everybody, it's Dilek with Nocta Detectors. Uh, today, uh, we're going to be giving the uh, Legend Software Update version 1.10 beta test version, as we promised. Uh, as some of you may or may not know, uh, we had announced that we were going to give the new software update as a beta test version first. So the testing can be done not by a limited number of testers, but by the general public. And then if there are no faults or bugs reported, we're going to release the uh, official final version. And I'm going to explain uh, the process uh how you are gonna report uh like if you come across any bugs or faults how you guys are supposed to uh report them okay but before i do that i would actually like to talk about the update okay and what's been updated uh for the legend um number one M3 multi frequency M3 multi frequency in park mode has been updated to prevent coins from being masked by aluminum foil if they are you know next to aluminum foil okay so the M3 multi frequency uh, has been updated uh, in the park mode okay that's number one. Number two, uh, based on many customers' requests, we added a new bottle cap rejection setting. Bottle cap rejection setting to the legend, okay? And um, when the device is in multi-frequency, okay, you select the recovery speed setting in the settings menu, and then you press the pinpoint button. And once you navigate with the right and left buttons, you will see the letters B, C. B, C appear on the screen, okay? And then you can just adjust it between 1 and 8 with the plus and minus buttons, okay? And when it's at 0, it means that the bottle cap rejection setting is off, okay? Number two, this was number two. Now, number three, ground suppressor, okay? Uh, this is a new setting we added. This is gonna be used to eliminate false signals, false ground signals, okay, uh, in tough terrains. To access this setting, again, you select the recovery speed setting and press the pinpoint button and then with the right and left buttons when you navigate you're gonna see the letters gs gs come up and then you can adjust the value again um between one and eight okay uh using the plus and minus button this setting we recommend you not to use it you know uh unless you need it so please you know uh leave it at zero which means it's off, you know, if you don't really need to use the setting, okay? Now, um, number four, the audio emitted uh, in the 60 tones when you change uh, the tone breaks, as you change the tone breaks in the 60 tone mm -hmm. mode, uh, that audio has been modified uh, with increased bass, okay? So it was a very, uh, like a high pitch tone. Now it sounds a lot better, okay? And it's been modified. Next, the audio gain has been activated in the gold field mode. So now, now you're going to be able to use the audio gain setting in the gold field mode as well. We added, next one, number six, warning tones to the buttons. And under two conditions, you will hear these warning tones from the, um, as you press the buttons. Number one, to indicate the minimum and maximum levels of the settings, okay? So let's say um, any setting. 
and you know you're increasing the value and you reach the maximum you cannot go any higher you're gonna hear you're gonna hear the warning tone or uh, same thing applies to the minimum levels of settings that's number one number two if you're trying to use an inactive setting okay in a mode because you know some settings are not active in in certain modes and if you're trying to use that setting and the inactive setting uh it will warn you okay with that warning tone okay uh so those are the two uh scenarios where you're gonna hear the warning tones now the next one the brightness level of the backlight level one has been reduced because we got some complaints from uh many customers saying that it's still like level one is like too bright okay so we reduce the brightness level of the um uh, backlight level one um number eight bluetooth chip version now will be displayed uh, in the uh section where you see the clock where you see the time guys okay and this is how it's going to work when the bluetooth headphones are paired with the device and the bluetooth setting is selected in the menu you press and hold the discrimination button and the bluetooth chip version will be displayed in the clock section okay and then once you let go uh of that discrimination but on the clock will revert back so the clock will be displayed again okay and the reason why you know we put that in is as some of you know or some of you have done it already we actually gave uh you know a threshold volume update okay uh so if there are any you know uh issues with any device or you know we want to check that Bluetooth, you know, uh, chip version so that you know, okay? Um, another one. Okay, so while in automatic ground balancing, the auto backlight will now stay lit until the ground balancing is completed because, um, it was you know the automatic uh grand balancing uh, i mean the automatic uh backlight was going off before the ground uh, automatic ground balancing was completed so uh we changed that and now it's gonna light up until the automatic ground balancing uh will be uh finalized okay now another one this was another um you know complaint from certain customers the loudness of volume level one has been reduced the volume level of um volume level one uh the loudness i mean of volume level one has been reduced in park field and beach modes okay now another one a new level of iron filter has been added which is going to be level nine on the iron filter setting guys okay and um, there has been no change to levels you know one through eight but we added a new level to the iron uh filter setting and where this is gonna come handy is let's say you're trying to discriminate some unwanted mid conductors um such as shotgun cartridges okay uh normally those shotgun shells cartridges whatever you want to call them uh, you know if you look at our like ferro check bar now you would see both sides uh sides lighting up okay but now with this iron filter level nine you're going to be able to discriminate um those you know unwanted mid conductors as iron okay uh so uh i know this is going to be a very good feature for certain users so we added that and uh, we also did some general improvements on the software now as you can see 
we have uh, given, you know, uh, new settings. A lot of, uh, we fix a lot of things uh, that, you know, customers were requesting. Now, we want all the legend users to test the software. Not only the testers this time, but all of you guys. You're all going to be our testers. However, um, please understand that we have to wrap this up as quickly as possible and, you know, like post the final version. So when we say we want you to get back to us and give us your feedback, I want to underline something. We want only bugs and faults to be reported. Nothing else, guys, please. You know, no, oh, I don't like this. I wish you did it, you know, some other way or, um, you know, oh, can you add this, another feature, another setting? None of that, please, okay? Uh, otherwise, this, is, this can go on forever and we can not post the final version, okay? Now, if you come across any bugs or any uh, faults with this uh, software, we set up an email address, okay? And it's going to be on our website. When you go to the uh, update section, you're going to see that website address. I believe it's lgv10 uh, at noctadetectors.com. You don't have to write this down. It's going to be up there. And you can actually report any bugs or faults you come across through that email address. Please, no direct message uh, to me or no emails to the regular info address. We want to actually uh, streamline. We want to get all the feedback through one channel so it's going to be easier for us to go through them and evaluate them and we also have to put a time limit i'm sorry this may be hard for everybody to do this but um we want you to you know get back to us by january 23 which will give you guys two weeks of testing time and we believe Two weeks is, you know, is a good time frame for you to test it to see if you come across any issues, okay? Uh, you don't have to give your feedback if you don't come across any issues. If everything is perfectly um, working, you don't have to, you know, report anything, only bugs and uh, faults, okay? Any other like feedback you have, you may share with me, but uh, the, the priority will be to uh, find any bugs if there are any, although we tested it thoroughly on our end, we, you know, it looks like there are no issues or bugs, but just in case we want you to test it as well uh, and report to us. And uh, the update will be on our website as soon as I'm done with this live and uh, another thing is oh by the way now the update process has been simplified mm -hmm. so uh, you're not gonna you're not really gonna download any files any bin files none of that anymore okay you're just gonna select the uh, software version 1.10 beta from the drop down list and just follow the simple instructions there and you're going to be done. Okay. Uh, a, a few other things that I would like to uh, share with you. Uh, as you know, you see guys, we're really trying our best to give you more and more. Okay. As Nocta detectors. And uh, you're actually going to be seeing our uh, banners around. Uh, that's going to, you know, that's going to come with this new update where we're saying uh, we're not releasing the Legend 200 or 300 guys, okay? I mean, we could easily release a Legend 200 or a 300 with everything added to this device, okay? But no, we're giving this as a free software update to our valued users. And you know for a fact that we never charged extra uh, for being waterproof or for being robust, you know, uh, or 
for the flashlight feature or for the vibration feature. These features actually have been standard on all our detectors, almost the cheapest ones, you know, the simplex. So, uh, do you really get what you paid for with the legend? No, the answer is no. You know why? You get a lot more with the legend, okay? Uh, there is no uh, detector right now out there, multi-frequency detector, that's going to give you all this, okay, at the price point we're offering at, okay? And I want to underline something again. Uh, when you're making a decision to spend more on a detector, uh, please uh, look what you're getting when you pay extra and if it's really worth it or not okay uh because one final time i'm gonna underline this okay when you pay more okay it doesn't mean that the product actually performs a lot more better or it is more in quality no okay and nocta detectors is the company who has changed this in this industry okay so don't pay more okay when you get a lot with a lot less money guys okay so uh that's all i'm gonna say now very quickly any questions because i know you're now all you know excited and you want to download the um upgrade and test it any questions Any questions? No questions? I'm gonna finish this live if there are no questions. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Nook the detectors, uh, love you guys. Uh, by the way, we also um, uh, started shipping the uh, optional coils to the distributors. The, it, they, some of them reached the distributors already. The LG24, the elliptical, smaller coil, you're going to love it. And the LG30. Now, uh, a question came, has there been any bugs with sound going out on the Legend? I've lost sound on my Legend and this is second machine. Uh, oh, okay, Brian. So that's another thing. Yes, we did have uh, an issue with the speakers. So what you need to do is actually we changed those speakers. Uh, it's been a while actually. Okay, so we're no longer using those speakers. I don't know where you're from, um, but contact me after this live. Uh, let me know where you're from and we're going to take uh, uh, care of it uh, because uh, we want to make sure that you get now uh, the right speaker. So I don't know where you're from. A dealer may have, may give you a replacement unit that has, that still has the old speaker. So we want to make sure that you get the right one. So just contact me, message me uh, after this live and I'll lead you uh, to the right person. Okay. Okay. Thank you guys. Love you. And uh, yeah. Looking forward to your uh, feedback on the new uh, version 1.10 uh, update beta test version. Nocta loves you. Bye.